Hi there. I hope you're all having a lovely Easter. Even though the world is in confusion at the moment, it's still nice to take some time to celebrate, to spend some time with your loved ones, and of course, to eat a lot of chocolate. Some might say too much. We might be spending a lot of time inside at the moment, but as, but as we get further into spring, we seem to be getting more sun, blue skies, and daffodils and crocuses are starting to sprout. And in a way, that's what Easter's all about. The start of something new. The return of beauty and joy. It's about hope. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Hope. The Easter story is full of hope. The hope of the woman who discovered the tomb. The hope of the disciples as they got to see their friend again. And the hope of the entire world as Jesus promised to everyone to be with them throughout their entire lives. Jesus' resurrection brought hope at a time when people needed it most, because before that, a lot of people were unhappy. The woman who went to Jesus' tomb had spent most of their lives being unhappy. This was in a time very different to our own, where women were thought to be less than men, but these women in particular had been treated very badly because they didn't act in a way that other people wanted them to. They, they were bullied by everyone they met and made to feel like outcasts. Have you ever been bullied or teased? Did that make you feel angry, scared or sad? Because that was how these women felt until they met Jesus. He made them feel loved and valued. He was a friend to them and he gave them hope. When he died, they felt like that hope was gone and that they were alone again. But when he came back, he reminded them that they weren't alone, that they had never been alone and that he would always be with them. The disciples were sad because they lost a friend, but not just a friend. Jesus was like their mum or their dad or a teacher. He told them where to go, what to do, what to say and how to help people. Without him, they didn't know what to do. They were also scared that what had happened to Jesus would happen to them as well. So they were sad, they were lost, and they were scared. Then, in that moment, an amazing thing happened. Jesus came back to them. Can you imagine how happy that made them? What about you? Is there someone you're missing? A friend or a family member? Do you know what it feels like to see someone for the first time in ages? And how happy it makes you. And it would have been better for the disciples because they thought that Jesus was dead before that. All the sadness, the loss and the fear would have been replaced with overwhelming love. He came back to them and he gave them hope. But Jesus doesn't just give hope to his friends. He gave hope to many different people on that day, and he gives hope to many different people now. After he left, his disciples travelled all over the place, spreading Christianity, teaching his word, and helping people to feel God's love. Even though he wasn't with them, he inspired his followers, reminded them that they didn't need him to do good things. Because Jesus gave them hope, they could give other people hope. And that's what the Easter story is all about. Hope. So, I've got something for you to do to spread that kind of hope as well. If you've gone out into the city recently, you might have seen a lot of bees in people's windows. All over the city, all over the country, all over the world. People have been drawing rainbows and sticking them in people in their windows. They've been doing this for many different reasons, because they're fun to make. They make people smile. They're also a, gr also a great way to thank all the amazing doctors, nurses and other workers who have been working hard to make people safe and happy. But as well as this, the rainbows give people hope. It's really good that these rainbows are coming out around Easter time because if you look closely, 
you can see the colours of the rainbow everywhere in the Easter story. To help show you this, I've made some posters showing you where the colours of the rainbow can be found in the Easter story. So there's red, the colour of the wine that Jesus shared with his disciples at communion. There's orange, the colour of the flame of the Holy Spirit that filled all the disciples up and inspired them to go on. There's yellow, the colour of the coin that, Je that Judas was paid to betray Jesus. There's green, the colour of the garden that Jesus went to pray before he was arrested. There's blue, the colour of the tears that Jesus' family and friends cried when he was taken from them. And last but not least, there's purple, the colour of royalty, because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Quick sip of water. So, here's what I want you to do. I've got a little Easter challenge for you. I want you to make your own rainbows. And if you've already done this, well done, you're amazing. Now make some more rainbows. And put them where other people can see. You could do this any way you want. You could do a drawing like this one. You could make a flag, like this very big flag that I've got here. You could even make something wearable, like this rather wonderful hat I have here. You can do anything you like. You could draw some people um, having fun on the rainbow, like some unicorns. It's a well-known fact that unicorns love rainbows. Or you could make something edible. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Just let your imagination run wild. While you're doing this, you can think about hope the hope that Jesus gave his followers when he came back, and the hope that you will be giving so many people by doing this. So, thank you for joining me. I hope you all have fun making your rainbows, and I hope you all have a lovely Easter.